Guys, it's going to be a model review of the MotorArt Volvo L180E Harley Flog Loader in 150th scale. I'd like to say that this model is highly recommended. I got this model for about 80 bucks. That's shipping included off of eBay. And a uh, very good uh, model. I really like it. So anyways, getting on to the, the grapple. Goes out that far. It's operated by cylinders right up there. Goes in that far. Spins 360. There's these things up in here. As you can see. Um, if I can get them down. There we go. Just like that. These things here are guards, so brush won't come up and hit the cylinders. They're metal. And they fold in like that. They are worked by cylinders. Right there. That little box type spot there. That's a cylinder. And it comes out. Then right up here. Your articulation point for your... Well, your pivoting point for your grapple. There's some lines going in there. They're silver. Then they go into black ones. Which are by the cylinder that curls in the... Um, the grapple and the lines run all the way up through the boom and down into there somewhere. So follow the decal, there's a boom light. This cylinder right on this side raises it. Well no. The the one down in there uh moves it back and forth and this one right here raises it. And it does go this high. fairly high okay so that's done there is a fender right here it is metal and a work light and down in here you have a warning decal and a articulation lock so if you don't want your machine turning at any point well you just flick that and it will not turn and then you got your steps going up into the cab. They're plastic, but they're durable plastic. Cab detail is okay. It's nothing special. It's gray and black. And, um, got a handrail right here. And it is plastic, but it's okay. Your air intake and your uh, stack. And I think your stack is really nice. It's big and you know it's it's got a hole there, so it's like it looks real. There's your Volvo decal, and then you got your um what do you call it? Your um suspension on the back tires right here and then you click open an engine compartment which is etched through the door here try to get in there okay the door here is etched through it's very nice and it opens to reveal well it's just pretty dark in there you can't really see anything I can barely see it and I'm like a couple inches away from it. Back of your model, you have your counterweight. You have two lights. You have a nice little hitch right here that looks really realistic and a warning decal. Then you have your radiator and it does open up to reveal your fan right here. And then in there is just nothing. Close it up again. There's some lights up there and your Volvo sign logo. Then right here you have some etched texture grilling up on top. Turn the model around. And there's your logo again. And this door here opens to this one opens all the way. It is etched through, like I said, and I think you can see all the way through. There's my finger over there. Might just be able to see that. And I'll look through the hole. You'll see my finger moving. 
So yeah, that's that. Revolver decal on this side. Same concept, same thing. Um, you know, let's flip it over and show you guys the bottom part. There's the underside. You can see there's lots of suspension on these tires. There's none on these. There's your drive shaft and stuff like that. Volvo engraved in the model right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this model, like I said, highly recommended. Um, it would make a great model, like diorama model, and it would make a very good shelf model, too. <clears throat> so I highly recommend this model for any use that you would want to use it for. Uh, I really like mine. Uh, like I said, mine's probably going to be on a shelf for a little while anyway. Because, what I, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm collecting models now until probably spring sometime. Then I'm going to try to do a diorama. I'm going to try to collect some pretty neat and different models and stuff like that. Different unique stuff. Stuff that not many people really think of getting or not many people want. I, I don't know. But stuff I want. Probably going to see a couple of Volvo models. Just saying. And you're probably going to see... Uh, some... Well, not really sword, but like kind of sword models. Maybe one or two different sword models. Uh, and you're probably going to see some Norscots. And... Um, I'd say that's pretty much it. Uh, and some Komatsu. We're going to be seeing some of that. Some first gear universal hobby stuff. You're probably going to be seeing some of that. So anyways, stay tuned for what I got to come. Got some more reviews probably coming later on this evening. This is just one of many. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys.